Welcome back to Datscast. I'm Shades, and as always, I'm joined by my uh, co-host, UK Shade at UK. How are you doing tonight? Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, do- I'm, doing I'm doing really good. Um, we got a we got a quick thing to say. We actually recorded this podcast like over a week ago, and the audio on my end was stuffed up. So this is technically our second go at this podcast. Um, though a lot of the news is no longer <laughs> news anymore, so we've had so to we've move got... it. <laughs> yeah, we had to like it was like we're not going to tell you old news. Um, but before we start, I want to say this is officially the tenth podcast we've done. <laughs> we have hit, we've hit a milestone. So in your face, that guy that said we wouldn't make we it past three, three and never do any more because <laughs> we're on ten, motherfucker. Yeah, um, that's seven more, bro. <laughs> yeah. um, so we'll do a bit of DAT game news before we launch into uh, the big stuff. Uh, first off, I hope you guys enjoyed April Fool's Day over at DAT game because we launched Hello Kitty and Sanrio Friends Racing. <laughs> that's great. Which is the reason why I'm quitting that game because it's the sexiest game of all time. So we found the sexiest game, Hello Kitty. That, there are no more. That is it. I've got to quit now. We found the sexiest game. Even Blood Rain and Bayonet ain't got shit on Hello Kitty's seat for us. Dude, Hello Kitty. I was like, what is this? Some kid shit? I'm not playing this. This is like, this is PG. And when you got on that. <laughs> Hello Kitty. I was like, I'm gonna have to make sure nobody's in the room when I play this. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't believe I played that as a kid, and it was actually a, an overrating game. Yeah. <laughs> not really a PG. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of you guys got a real giggle out of it. A lot of you guys watched it. So either you guys really love the April Fool's joke or you guys are all sick. And you just... And you're all into hell of (laughs) You know. Um, Also, as of tonight, Pussy Saga, the review, has come out with myself in UK. Um, We reviewed (laughs) a bootleg knockoff of Honey Pop slash Honey Cam, which was... Just, just say, how did you feel about that game, UK? It was an epic piss party. It was epic fail. Epic piss party. That's the best description <laughs> of it. It's complete shitty piss. Oh, it was awful, right? Oh god, it was a scam. It was just one big scam. <laughs> it was the worst thing. Uh, I've like in terms of games, like, and even the Honey Pop developer has gone out on record and said he knows this exists. Um, but he does not give a shit, and I think that's a good thing. But still, yeah, the fa- yeah, still the fact that it exists, though. The fact that it exists is terrible. It's like it's a blatant ripoff. You can tell it's a ripoff. And even when they, uh, if you try and make an account, they'll send you an email, which is a scam and a hack. Which then you probably get hacked. So and you don't want to, don't make an account on there. <laughs> Seriously, and, and don't. Even still, you can't beat the game 100% while without using your credit card anyway. It's just a big paywall of shit, basically. So, watch the review, but don't play the game. That's all I can say, because watch the review. The review's funny, but the game is just... It's a mess. Don't um, be fooled by tits! Yeah, don't don't be fooled. That's what we're here for. We're here to show you whether or not things are sexy or not. So, we'll tell you if things are, you know... So, just be careful. This is what I review. This is what that game's all about. Um, yeah. Also, we put up a trailer this week for we are doing streams every week. We're doing a stream on Thursday with the EVM crew, and we're doing streams on every Sunday uh, at 10 p.m. West Australian uh, Standard Time. You can see myself, Shades, and maybe some other EVM slash Shady Corner people chilling out and playing some video games live on Twitch. Uh, I'll put the details up on the screen, but you can also watch the trailer that Spex did for us recently. She also came over to shoot a new DAP Philosophy episode, which you know we, we haven't started them in a while, but um, it's because those are hard to write, obviously. But uh, we're starting that new one, uh, and so we did the trailer for that, and we've already done... We're in our... This will be our third week streaming in a row. So yeah, if you want to join us and you want to ask me questions, it's a good place if you want to ask questions or just chill out with me and some of the other crew. Thursdays and Sundays, you get to watch us play games and you get to recommend games that we want to play, which is pretty fucking sweet. Um, as for DAC game news, that is it. But 
today is a pretty big day. I don't know when this is going to go up. I'd say this is going to go up in the next uh, couple days or so, this podcast. But as of today, uh, Honeycam Studio launched. Um, it came out on the Steam store. Um, I myself picked up a copy of it. I've been playing it. And UK was asking me earlier what I thought of it. Um, so far, um, I like it. I think it's a way smaller game than it was meant to be. Uh, I f- it's hard to say. It, it like review wise without being like I'm not being mean. The art style's great. The gameplay is nice and simple in a way that it's in its different category. But if you're coming from Honey Pop to Honey Cam, obviously it's different and a lot more difficult. But having said that, looking at this game, I don't know if there's much underneath the core of it. Like there is a lot to do what I've been playing. But I mean, you watched me play it for ten minutes. What did you think of it, UK? It looked okay, and like you said, the art style was good, and it sort of it has that simple sort of gameplay to it. But at the same time, like I don't know if it would in, like interest me in like would it keep my attention for very long, mm. that sort of thing. And also the worrying about get getting broke or getting something wrong or your character getting AIDS or something. Yeah, I was kind of blown away by that. Like I just start like, the game. My character can get AIDS. <laughs> I just start the game again. Um, and also I feel like I feel like once you've bought everything i don't know like obviously i've only just started playing it so i can't really judge but i guess as you progress things get easier and harder at the same time um i don't know if you unlock additional things as you go i have not got to that part yet but um yeah it it's kind of hard to say because it does it has a it has a curve of difficulty to it um and also i'm not a big fan of clickers um whereas you love uh, Sakura Clicker. Sakura Clicker. Yeah, and I didn't. Uh, <laughs> we were on the fence about that. Like, we both love the art style. We can agree on that. Well, we can agree on that. Well, come on, we love tits. Let's yeah. be fair. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, but I don't know. At first, I was like, ah, oh, this is a clicker. But now I'm kind of on the fence to say that this might be the clicker that I like. Whereas I think Sakura Clicker will be the clicker that you like. So we sort of have a bit like a mixed... Mm. Like, you? I- each of them have their own thing that it... Their things. Yeah. <laughs> I do think, though, Secure Clicker will suffer in terms of um, traffic now with this game, but at the same time it might not yeah. because people will be like, oh, this costs money, go get Secure Clicker because it's free. I think that... It depends on, like, the person, I guess, because there's always different people. Some people might like Sakura Clicker, but some people might prefer Honeycam Studios or... Exactly, I mean... It just depends on the uh, person, I guess. (laughs) It's kind of like, uh, to put it simply, if you like the characters from Honey Pop, then you'll like this game. But it's a different game. So don't think you're getting Honey Pop 2, because you're not getting that. It's not anywhere close to that. The only things that are from Honey Pop other characters that is it there is no carryover in terms of there is like character traits themselves but this is a completely different genre of game um and it is on sale at the moment it's on it's it's on sale to the 12th uh it's like 10 to 12 percent off i think so it's like seven dollars right now um that being said let's move on to some to some news Okay, so we got a lot of news today. Um, there is a lot of news now. I'm gonna bring up the first, the first piece of news on on the docket. Uh, there's a new Dead or Alive character being announced. Oh. Called Natora. She's on the screen now. Oh, she's um, on. <laughs> she um she has her own little trailer and everything. I'll play the little trailer here. Um. She's pretty cool, I gotta admit. She's got like a more um I don't know if she is from uh Samurai Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, because they have like characters come from some different games, like they had Rachel from Ninja Ninja Gaiden and I think mm. Ayane's from Ninja Gaiden too. And they got the Sin Sin Kagura costumes in there and stuff. They're doing a lot of crossovers now, which is really cool. 
Um, she's really pretty. I gotta admit, she's really cool. She is really pretty. It's she kind of um she kind of reminds me a little bit of Neo Tengu, just a little bit like mm. the um I think it's the fringe or something like that, like the fringe of their hair. Yeah. But yeah, and they're both hot. So <laughs> okay. again, I I I bring this up as I did before. Why are they still releasing shit for the game when I thought they were gonna stop? Like I thought they were gonna stop. They're releasing. just trying to. They're scamming. They're scams. All of them. They're milking it. They're milking it now. Like, don't and get me wrong. And they know that we're gonna do it. They know that we're gonna fall for it because they're hot babes. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, she was just like in the a... Halloween costumes that cost me over forty quid. <laughs> she was just in a tiger costume too. Like, how can? How am I not gonna? Yeah. You've got to buy the tiger babe costume now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um. Also on the oh. list, let's have That's a look. Awesome. We've got Senran Kagura has an alarm clock app oh, that oh, came out recently. Uh, <laughs> with the old the old timer on your phone, and you get to pick different images, and they rest have a phone. rest their boobs. <laughs> it's it's a fairly simple app. It's not. I'm only lightly mentioning it because a few people mentioned it to me, and I wasn't really going to say anything, but it's it's all right. Like, I mean, I'm a big fan of Senran Kagura, so we've reviewed a lot of Senran Kagura stuff. Um, but I figured I'd just mention that to you guys that that does exist. Um, I don't know where to get it exactly. I think it's just on the App Store. Um, you can search for it, but it's a Senran Kagura app clock. Um, there's like a test. A demo out, I think. Um, also, there is a Dead or Alive Extreme 3 trailer. A new trailer that announces DLC. Um, because Dead or Alive Extreme 3, and here we got it here. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 versus, uh, Venus, sorry. Um, it's starting to look really good. Again, I don't have a PS Vita. So I don't know how I'm going to play this one. Um, the struggle is real. The struggle I don't is have real. a PS Vita either. Don't worry. I don't either. But so far, <laughs> the polish of the game looks really good. The character models look really good. Look how they're tempting us. Look how they tempt us. Oh, they're crawling across the sand. This, this is cruel. You know what I mean? This like, is so look, you can touch the boobs. You can touch the boobs. Oh my fucking Oh my god, god you can yeah. lift the skirt. You can lift the skirt. This is everything. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? I was thinking about that alarm clock thing you said about. Um, imagine if your waifu could wake you up every morning. Like, because you'd wake up to that, wouldn't you? Like, oh, I if would. they came out of the game or anime that you. Like, they came out of the screen and just woke you up and then they were real. Like, you imagine it enough. You just believe. And then they come to oh, life. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to believe in the waifus. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I oh, they're teasing us. They're, they're just... teasing us. They got to cut it out. Um, Those fuckers. <laughs> but seriously, there is a lot of uh, DLC for this game. Is it out yet? I thought it wasn't out. It's not out. I don't I think it's out. Yet. Playing Dead or Alive Extreme Three on like YouTube. I think they probably had like like a review copy or something. Probably, because that comes out early, doesn't it? Like review copies. But I think I saw some. I saw some like suggestions on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, I think so. Oh yeah. God, movies. Yeah, I'm trying to find whether or not this was the next one that. It, no, it wasn't that one. Okay, this is the next one that I want to talk about today. Have you heard about Secure Dungeon? I've heard a little bit about it. Okay, so Sakura Dungeon, Sakura Dungeon. Um, more Sakura game. <laughs> more Sakura. This game is actually oh. different. Oh, shit. Uh, it's an actual dungeon crawling game where you fight monsters. And this reminds me a little bit of Demon uh, Master Chris. Just a little bit. Yeah. No, you're this... right. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at their boobs. They're How do they keep them in their clothes? Uh, physics. I would assume physics. <laughs> the same as DOA food physics, just very much like that. Apparently you can capture them much like Pokemon. Um, Do you know what? You know, the very same thing happens in Demon Master Chris as well. See, that's why I think that they've they've taken the concept they've gone, from. 
I feel like they might have copied that a little bit, even though I really love the art style and everything. They have like, on Demon Master Chris, they have like Succubi, they have like fairies, orc girls, that sort of thing, and mouse girls and stuff like that, and you can take off their clothes. Yeah. Yep, that's the same thing. You um, tear their clothes apart and capture them. So, They're doing the same thing. So it's pretty much a copy. Kind of, yeah. Damn Except, it. you know, the Demon Master Chris, like the Demon Woman, takes Chris in because she found her, like. And then she has to go and fight and collect demons. But yeah, she. Someone like... recommended me Demon Master Chris a long time ago. And I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna uh, play it. But. Um, I ended up just not doing it. You just sort of. You probably had, like, other things to do and stuff. And, like. Oh, you know me. That could happen as well. And, you, you keep busy, you, you keep it going. <laughs> um, I don't know what this was, but this was just like a racing game coming soon. I got no clue what this is, but if somebody... All I know the... is that red hair is hot. <laughs> I don't know what it is, though, but like, watch this video and tell me that this doesn't entice you to go, what the fuck are we watching? At the moment, it looks like a school anime. <laughs> Kinda, sort of not. But have a look and tell me what you think. Because... I don't know what we're watching, but I think these schoolgirls are racing like horses. That's... Weird. Messed up. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're all animal girls. I don't know. Someone's... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Someone sent this to me this week, and this is all they sent me. They just sent me the link. And I don't I know... Don't, I really don't know how to feel. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know if it's an anime. I don't know if it's a game. I got no clue what I'm looking at. And I, I have no clue what the plot really is. If it's just literally them running and that's all. Like, running I and don't... training and... And boob flopping every now and then. Which is okay with me. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, it I mean, looks like they've got something going on between them. We those can, two are we definitely... Can only hope. Those two are definitely... Okay, th those are a ship. I'm shipping them now. I don't care what anyone just, says. You don't know who Yes, they... yes, yes, they kissed. Woohoo! I mean... Sorry. I mean, My like, on its... No, I was just going to say, like, if anyone at home has an idea what we're watching, please tell me in the comments below, because, like, I got no idea what we're watching. Because we really don't... I mean, we like it somewhat. Yeah. Probably. I mean, well, those I mean, two I don't know. It looks funny and interesting, but I don't know what we're but watching. At the same time, if we don't know what we're watching, then it's kind of like, oh my god, she just went fucking crazy. She had like the Yandere face on. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I was just like, is she going to stab someone now and start calling someone her senpai? <laughs> but yeah, and then they give out this website, and then that's all I've got, which is the website that that's we're on. That's very obscure. Yeah, and because I can't read Japanese, I got no fucking clue what it is. But it says Psy Games. So I assume I it's a video game. I used to be able to read very little Japanese, and I mean literally a very little. Like, I could understand a few symbols, and that was it. And I was like, what the fuck is the rest of <laughs> But now I'm just like, I have no clue. I wish I could I... read Japanese. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> Me too. Um, I wish I could read Korean as well, because there's a lot of Korean stuff. So, like... Oh, there's heaps of Korean stuff. And that, some of them are really quite good. Like, it's just like, why can't we read it? Why? <laughs> The last thing on the list, uh, PS Vita Brawler game called Uppers, which somebody told me about about a month ago. They told me about Uppers. I got no idea what this game is. I got no clue. But it has oh, Senran and Kagura crossover. <laughs> um, uppers, titters, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> but there is a crossover with our good friend from Senran and Kagura. And for a, I guess it's a brawling fighting game, it's pretty cool. I gotta she admit. She looks like a fucking badass, don't she? Like, oh, yeah. She, They've made her look badass. way more badass in this game than they did Senran Kagura by far. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean... Oh, my God, she just did, like, a Naruto move on him. <laughs> She's just kicking ass. Um, who, was, who wouldn't want to kick ass like that? I'm really looking forward to this one. I... Again, it was one of those games that this one? people messaged me. Oh, this is on PS Vita, unfortunately. Oh. Um, I know. So many, so many of these oh, Japanese games. Vita. So many. Somebody sent us a Vita. Um, some people Do keep it. bloody sent like pe whenever they make like Japanese games. I don't get what it is. It must be cheap to put them on the Vita or something because all these games like Senran Kagura, Uppers, every game, Bullet Girls Two, they're all coming out in the Vita. And I don't have a Vita, yeah. because I don't want to... Like, I don't know anybody that has a Vita. So, I mean... Yeah. 
I don't, I, it, to me, I'm just like, it doesn't appeal to me. Like, I feel like unless you're going to... Like, the only advantage that I saw in one of the recent games was uh, Senran Kagura, the new one, is on uh, PlayStation 4. And I was like, if I had a PlayStation 4, that would be fine. At least it's on two consoles, whereas, like, you know, like, they put the first Senran Kagura on DS and then the rest of them on Vita. What was the change? Did they change? <laughs> did they change contract or something? Like it's kind of bullshit. Like really, um, especially no, when we're trying to get hold of sexy video games. Um, and it can be hard sometimes to get hold of sexy video games. It, it's very hard to get. And like only just these couple of years, I'm finding that sexy video games are kind of making a resurgence. They're 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 coming back. Games like Honeycam Studio, uh, games like Dead or Alive. And I'm glad that they don't give a fuck about these people going, uh, uh, you know. I, oh, you're I, sexualizing women. You're objectifying. It, exactly. When at the end Sorry, of the day, my no, 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 no. When at the end of the day, the one thing is, if you don't like it, don't play oh, it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to touch it at all. No but, one's forcing them to. With hold them at gunpoint. No, yeah. but they think that because it exists on the same planet as them. That this They've got to make a deal out of it. It's exactly. <laughs> and I think that in itself just makes me feel more justified. Like Again, I'm, I've never really say too much on the subject. A lot of people have wanted me to uh, say stuff, particularly against... I did. <laughs> I know you do. I'm, I'm very... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, no. I don't mind. It's, it's, not, it's not that. It's the fact that if I did it... Like, it was very hard for me to do the Revolution 60 video because of that. And I feel that because it was made by somebody that had was involved within that media, and it's very hard for me to say something because I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I feel other people would interpret what I'm saying wrong, and people I don't. I, I don't want that. Is on the internet, people misinterpret everything. It's exactly. Like the worst. This is the reason why we're here right now, is because a lot of people interpret shit wrong, and they take it out of context. And I, as much as I know that I want to avoid it, I know eventually one day I won't be able to, and it's going to be... Because it will just keep resurfacing, like... Exactly, and we won't be able to stop it. I think uh, it's going to be something we're going to have to deal with for a very long time. Um, I'm sorry that the pod... Like, sorry to you guys at home, the podcast went off the rails a bit. We're just sort of ranting, but we're... You know, we're sorry. No, but we're, we're very passionate <laughs> about this issue. Like, you and I have talked we're, about we're, it before. We're opinionated, we're passionate, and we like boobs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, and I'm just saying, if you want to see more boobs, come join me on every Sunday on the Sunday Shady Stream, and I'll make sure you see some boobs. Not my boobs, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> video game boobs. Uh, uh, I thought he said, not my boobs. Not my boobs. <laughs> uh, and on that note, we have... We did play a game two podcasts ago we played a game uh and it was about boobs and we played a word association game and i figured we did do this on the last podcast but again it got destroyed uh due to my shitty microphone but i now have a new microphone so it's all good uh and today we're going to be playing word association game number two and we're going to do uh vagina today and We've now had the practice, so this is the f- this is it, UK Shader. Are you ready to go up against me? Yep. Okay. Well, I'll go first. I have about four or five that I can remember. About four or five. So that's good. I- and I've got probably a few more. I'll think of some along the way. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Sand trap. <laughs> <laughs> the lady garden. Lady garden. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> uh, the clam. <laughs> Conject. Um, the sinkhole. <laughs> the sinkhole. It's definitely a sinkhole. <laughs> the fishy taco. <laughs> fishy taco. That's the amazing one. Uh, the flesh slipper. <laughs> <laughs> flesh slipper. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's, that's actually quite good. Yeah. Oh, I've got to top that. Um, the Dunkin' Donut. The Dunkin' Donut. Because I think it, you dunk. It's like a donut. It's a hole. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all things. Oh my god, I got one. I got one. The flesh purse. Oh. <laughs> the flesh purse. <laughs> <laughs> Stick some money inside that. That one. Yeah. 
<laughs> Trippers could do that. That's, that's they could. Advice. If you don't have enough room in your boobs, <laughs> should jam it? it up there. <laughs> oh, smell! <laughs> oh my god, um, cream pie. <laughs> cream pie. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, this is tough. Hmm. Let's say. Oh, this is tough. I've, I've hit a wall. Um, <laughs> the. Oh, you might win. Uh, I've still got a few more. <laughs> Do you really? Oh my god. Okay. Um, uh, the dick sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the axe wound. <laughs> axe wound. Oh my god, that's fucking amazing. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> Just gonna... don't throw any axes at it. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I'm gonna go with the classic. I'm gonna go with the classic cum dumpster. Cum <laughs> dumpster. That's a classic. Okay, that's that's such a pretty good. Oh fuck! Good I think the tables are turned. <laughs> <laughs> The glorious peach. <laughs> the glorious peach. Um, <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> I was gonna say the muffin. That's still that's still a word for muffin. Is that's that still, still a word, word for... for vagina? Yeah, people still use that. All right, muffin. I think I've Muffin. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit of a cop out, but I'll say muffin. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, fur burger. <laughs> I have actually heard that one before somewhere, but I thought, oh my god, I got a huge tat. That's good. Oh my god. Um, the stocking stuffer. <laughs> stocking stuffer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your stocking. <laughs> yeah. Um, wet petals. <laughs> wet petals. God, you're really good at these. Uh, hush puppy. Hush puppy. Hush puppy. People definitely hush. <laughs> they do. <laughs> are, are you are you are you at your wits end? I've got I've got that fleshy wormhole. That's all I got now. Jesus. Gee, okay, you know what? I'll call it. You win this. You win this one. That's oh my god, that's horrible. That's Imagine great. if it could go on forever. Oh, it, it could. It could. Um, wow. Okay, Jesus. Um, Yours were good though. Yours. I thought I was beat quite a few times actually. I thought I, thought I was, but like. Well, I am. Then my but... brain just decided to boot up again. It was like, no, you've got to keep going. Vagina powers. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'll have to... Uh, if you guys have your own innuendo... Oh, I could have said in your endo. In your endo. In your fronto or something. Like, if you in guys, your fronto. If you guys have your own innuendos for vagina, leave them in the comment box below. Um, this has been one amazing podcast as per usual um <laughs> thank you guys for sticking us sticking with us for 10 episodes uh if you want to keep up to date you want an audio version head on over to shadycorner.com you want to support us head on over to our patreon and if you want to see us on the live stream join us on thursdays and sundays and they will also be uploaded to evm gaming so keep a look out but as always, I'm Shades. And I'm UK Shadette. <laughs> and this... No pause. <laughs> no pause this time, because this <laughs> is that cast. Good night. Bye. <laughs>